Hello, and welcome. And today's lesson, we are going to try to determine if two images that are plotted on a grid are congruent by carrying out various transformations of an original image to see if it's identical to a second image on the grid. Uh, materials that you need are some graph paper, pencils, note paper, and ruler. And first, I'm going to ask that you plot the original um, image with these points on the screen. Connect those lines. And then also plot the points of the second image. And connect those lines as well. And as you can see on the screen, I've noted that I've added a question mark after the points because we don't know yet how many transformations may be needed to move an original image into position to look identical to the new image. And as you go through, you can pause these videos at any time to check the point location as needed or anything you want to answer. And you should have a couple of right triangles, one in the original image in quadrant number one, and a new right triangle, which is in quadrant number three, as the picture is shown on the screen now. And uh, you need to set up a table of some sort to keep track of the transformations you plan to carry out. Remember, you're starting with the coordinates of the original image, and your goal is to have every point match with the new image coordinates. So the table I've set up has a column of starting points, A, B, and C, and a couple more columns. I don't know how many I might need. And um, to see if I can get to my goal, my new image coordinates are on the right hand side. And we're going to take another look at our two images again, trying to picture how the original image may have been transformed into the new image. As you're looking at these, again, pause the video, have a discussion if you're in the class. Try to picture in your mind what could be happening to the original. Reflections, rotations, slides. These are some of the things you could ask. What would the original look like if it was reflected over each axis, for instance? If an original image was reflected over an axis, would the slopes look the same? If the original image was reflected over an axis, would the legs of the triangle be in the same position as the new image? If you rotated the original image in this case, how would the triangles compare? Remember, you can move an image up or down, or left or right to align two images. Discuss possible transformations which could be used. Let's take a look at our graph again. Let's see if our original image reflected over both axes as a next step. Maybe seeing these reflections will give us some more ideas. And as you can see, the original image reflected over the y-axis is above the new image in quadrant number two. And the original image reflected over the x-axis and it's in quadrant number four. Hmm. Taking a look at this, can we see any possibilities as to where we could go from here? How can we get to a new image? After reflecting over the x and y axis, which images looks more like the new image? Look at these things in the next slide. The highlighted legs, the hypotenuse, or the slope. As you see, I 
highlighted the legs of the new energy in the red outline, and I highlighted the legs of the right triangle of the original damage reflected over the x-axis. Did it look similar? Let's take a look at the hypotenuse of the slopes. Highlighted with the green. Do they look similar? Okay. It looks, it looks like, like we have a place to start. start. Let's, Let's start, start to fill in our table with all the points reflected over the x-axis. This, this was our original table. table. We, we had our starting, starting points, A, B, and C, and each point we have shown reflected over the x-axis with A prime, B prime, and C prime. Okay. Looking, Looking more closely at the image reflected over the x-axis, can we slide it to the new image location by moving it to the left and up? How many places to the left do we need to line up the two images? How many places up do we need to move to line up two images? These numbers will be used for our final translation. X comma Y is being moved to what? Let's, Let's look, look at these, these images, images again. again. Okay, we have our reflected image in quadrant number four. Pause the video here. How many units to the left do we need? Does it look like we have to move it? How many units up do we have to move that triangle? Well, it looks like we can move that reflected triangle eight units to the left. And if we can then move it two units up, that these triangles will be identical. And this would be written as x comma y moves to x minus a comma y plus two. And with this we'll fill in the last column or the next column on our table. Here we've done we've taken a prime, b prime, and c prime, and we've applied the translation, and we have a double prime, negative six, negative one, b double prime, negative one, negative one, c double prime, negative one, negative two. And as we can see, our new image has those the same identical points, which tells us something pretty important about our original image and our new image. What it means is that these two images are in fact congruent or identical because we can duplicate the original image we started with with the new image on our graph through a series of transformations. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.